have some injury news to start with, please. Uh, the same that the, the last game, uh, we're still out uh, Mason, Nabil Bentalev and, and Musa. Uh, uh, they are still out, but they are close to, to back to the team, but, uh, but uh, still out. I think everyone agrees that Diego Costa showed at the weekend that Arsenal can be got out physically. Do you take much inspiration from that in terms of tomorrow's game? So what did you make of the incident in general? No, I think that every game is different. Um, uh, I think now it's uh, Tottenham against uh, Arsenal, a different game. It's a, it's a derby, a special game for us, a special game for our supporter. But it's, it's impossible to translate this situation that uh, maybe will, will happen tomorrow. But uh, you know, always the incident are different in different games. And but this is it's football. Sometimes happen this type of of action. Is Son going to be key to what you do against Arsenal tomorrow? You probably look to hit them on the front foot. Well, I think that uh, we need to assess the team. Um, we play three games in one week. We have ahead uh, a lot of uh, tough game, um, and you know. Um, is uh, is uh, still I don't take the decision the the start the start eleven for for tomorrow. What have you made of Arsenal so far? They've had quite a patchy start. Are you surprised they didn't sign more players in the summer? Sí, pero pienso que Arsenal está que es que a no haber fichado este verano. I think that Arsenal uh, have a, a very good squad. Mm. And after, I see, always is a decision from from Arsenal, sign or not. Um, it's not my problem. <laughs> it's not my problem. Uh, well, I, I I don't have an opinion about that. Two more games have passed for Harry Kane since we last spoke in here. Are you still or are you concerned about his form? Are you any more concerned than you were this time last week? No, no, I am not concerned. I think it's coming. And started uh, as score again, and uh, Harry is, is quiet. But you know, always the striker need the score, and they feel better if a score. But um, I am happy with him. Uh, he worked very hard for the team, and uh, uh, unbelievable effort for for the team. But this, uh, I am sure that uh, the the goal is coming. You got to the final of the Capital One Cup, obviously last year. But how much of a priority is this? competition, I mean, you're underway already in Europa League, but I mean, can a club like this afford to really go for it in more than one cup competition? I think that uh, all uh, our games, next game is always a priority for us. Uh, for me, it's the, the, much, the more important game is tomorrow, is tomorrow against Arsenal. Um, and every competition is our priority, and we, we, we want we to stay in, in, in all competition. And tomorrow is a very important game. It's, it's, uh, it's not because we play... Um, Capital One or FA Cup or Premier League. When you play against Arsenal, always is important, the more important game and special game. And it's a derby for us and for our supporters. And, and, and it's for that uh, we want to, to win tomorrow. Can we expect many changes? Well, we have a squad um, that uh, important player. Um, and, and after we have some injuries and, and we rotate the, the team in, in different games, uh, you can see that uh, Manchester United, the players that play in the starting eleven, maybe are different than the play we play with the, against uh, Crystal Palace. I think that uh, you need to feel and to translate the confidence and trust in, in your squad. And I trust very much in my squad. And, the player that play that can play can play tomorrow, um, I don't have doubt and can do the best for the for the team. Can you give us a, a little bit of a, an insight into how you do rotate your squad? What do you actually take into account before you look at a game and decide which team you're going to be playing? Bearing in mind that as the Capital One Cup, it, it may not be number one priority. No, but. It's not my opinion. All, maybe it's your opinion. is uh, is not uh, my priority when I select the the player. But it's our always is our priority. All games and all competition. And I don't know why. Sometimes 
you believe that it's not our priority when we select the, the team or the player. Um, always you need to show respect for your squad. When you sign player, maybe it's, uh, play on Premier League or play on Europa League or on Capital One or on FA Cup. But this is, is, I think that we have a quality player enough for playing in different competition and and it's not an excuse uh, for tomorrow or for Saturday or for Thursday when you play in different competition. In every competition, every, every game, our responsibility is, is to, to win the games. You've played in great derby matches around the world. Where does this one sit in in what you've experienced? Is it more intense than anything else? I don't know if it's more in intense. I think it's especially... Uh, uh, all derby are different, for different things, but for different things are, are different. Um, but when you play different uh, derby, like Paris Saint-Germain, Marseille, or Newell's Old Boys, uh, Rosario Central, and... Espanol Barcelona is a big derby too, and uh, I think that uh, your experience is, is 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 good to translate to the player. And but it's very tough uh, derby, Arsenal, uh, Tottenham Arsenal, and um, I enjoy I enjoy always the derby, and it's a it's a it's a game that you always you expect uh, and you wait for for play. How pleased have you been with your defence recently? You've had a number of clean sheets in a row. Yes. Have you done a lot of work with them? No, I think I am, I'm very pleased. Because, but this is a collective effort, and it's not uh, about the the keeper or about the the back four. Uh, when you keep uh, or you you made the, the clean sheet, and it's always a collective collective effort. I'm very pleased with all players. And one last one from me. In terms of Arsene Wenger, who's been in. England for so long and his record. Can you give us a, an idea of how much you appreciate what he's achieved and the influence that he has had on English football? The influence of uh, Arsene? Uh, yeah, of Arsene Wenger. Yes, I think that always. I, I've seen on the past, I price uh, a lot to, to him because I think he's, uh, I seen he's uh, a great manager. Um, uh, and I think that uh, I admire uh, him because he's... Um, He's in charge uh, for maybe 18 years 19. or 19, and, and this is his because you have a real talent, and it's not easy to stay in the same club uh, in a long, long, long time. How, how he is. This is the match preview of all match previews. Okay, it is Spurs v Arsenal. This is potentially one of the best match. All right, we may have this at least twice again this season.